Hi, Dan here from VHX411.com. Today I will show you a video on how to check the fuses. I've had a lot of people asking me about how to test the fuses, check the fuses, if they're good or bad. It's pretty simple. Um, I mean, if you do have an, any electrical problem, you would want to start with the fuses first. Because if it's a blown fuse, all you have to do is just replace it with another one and you're good to go. Unless you have a short, it continuously blows the fuse, then you'll have to troubleshoot the short. Uh, some cars have, I mean, most of the cars have the fuse box on the engine compartment and on the interior of the car. Some have them on the trunk, some have them under the seats. Well, uh, how to check the fuses, I'll show you how. You will need a test light, similar to this. It's a cheap test light. You can get an Addy AutoZone, any parts store. Uh, you hook it up to the ground of the battery terminal. Once you hook it up to the ground of the battery terminal, with this side, you would touch the power. And if it lights up, you're getting uh, power. Uh, you would want to put the ignition on first because if you don't, the fuses that are supposed to get power, they will not light up. Well, for this instance, how to do it is you touch one end of the fuse. If it lights up and the other end lights up, that means the circuit from here to here is good. It's getting juice all around. So from here, all right, from here, we're getting juice to here. From here to here. So we're getting power here and here. Now, if you come up to a fuse that doesn't light up on one end and on the other end, that does not mean it's a bad fuse. That could be a circuit that's getting power with the headlights on or whatever, and obviously they're off right now. So you can test that and or you can check what it goes for and put it on, let's say headlights, we can put them on and test them. Otherwise, don't replace these fuses if you're not getting power on both ends. Now a bad fuse, what it's going to do is you're going to have power. One end would light up, the other end of the fuse will not light up. So you touch one end, it's getting power, the other end is not getting power. So this is an open circuit, it's a blown fuse. Power on one end, power on the other is a good fuse. Power on one end, no power on the other is a bad fuse. And to replace it, all you do is just pull it out. You can confirm it's a bad fuse by looking at the fuse. And you can see, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's an open circuit from one end to another. Uh, all you have to do is just replace it with a good fuse. Same amperage. And then you can check your circuit. One end is getting power, the other end is also getting power. So now you have a good fuse installed and you're getting power to whatever the circuit needed power. They didn't have it before. So this is how you check the fuse. It's pretty simple. One end has power, the other one doesn't. It's a bad fuse. And if it doesn't have power on both ends, don't replace the fuse because that circuit probably is not getting juice. It will get juice when you turn on let's say a headlights or whatever in this per, uh, case this is a headlight fuse so thanks for watching see you next time